Hello world, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far I have shared my experiences with you of what it's like for me to live with autism. Other times I like to give my own two cents on what's going on with autism in the media from my very own perspective. And finally I like to cover topics that I am passionate about that have absolutely nothing to do with autism whatsoever because I have a really really cool idea that I believe uh, nerds and geeks would uh, both like. Oh. And right now, though, I'd like to continue talking about my experiences of autism and what's going on with autism in the world because there's a whole lot to say and um, this is one of the reasons why Damon wanted me to talk in these blogs because I'm just a very outspoken person and people need to hear the truth. And they need to hear the voice of autism, not the voice of the neurotypical that is being a pain in the butt. And tonight I'm going to give my two cents on what's going on in the media because there is a woman who is currently behind bars by the name of Kelly Stapleton and that is because she had attempted to murder her own daughter and she had also attempted to take her own life last year around Labor Day 2014. Now she had told her daughter that they were going to go camping and she uh, packed the van with uh, two grills and she brought charcoal with her and she packed a mattress and she packed some possessions of her family's including a shirt of her husband's and some things that belonged to her other daughter and her other son and she took this 15 year old daughter with her now actually she was for her daughter uh, Izzy was 14 at the time and here are two reasons why she decided to uh, kill Izzy and also kill herself the first being that uh, Isabel had a series and history of uh, episodes of violence towards other people, including her own mother, or so uh, Mrs. Stapleton had said. And then the second one was that she felt Mrs. Stapleton felt guilty because she couldn't make her daughter perfect and she couldn't fix her. And so she basically beat herself up on that. And then she had also. Uh, she tried, she'd also tried to get Izzy in a couple of things. The first one, she tried to get her into a you know, program in Great Lakes, which is where they have, they do uh, positive reinforcement to help reduce, um, re water down and reduce bad behaviors. And again, they use uh, positive reinforcement where every time Izzy does what the psych, the therapist uh, tells her to do, she would get tokens. And then, uh, that didn't work out because the insur the insurance stopped covering it because evidently uh, Izzy's behavior kept on continuing. And then the second one was that uh, she could get Izzy into uh, their high school and special education program because the other people were just too afraid of Izzy. And uh, other parents didn't want their kids with Izzy because she might try to beat them up and she might try to hurt them. So Mrs. Stapleton decided to come up with the perfect plan to kill herself and kill her own daughter. Now I had also watched the, all of this unfold on Dr. Phil and it was where he went to speak with her over at uh, the prison that she is currently being held at. And then I also read an article in uh, the New Yorker and I, mean, I read a lot of really interesting details. The first being is that the, Izzy ended up undergoing um, intensive um, ABA or Applied Behavioral Analysis and uh, there are people who also live on the spectrum like myself that live here in Atlanta that I happen to know and they're getting together and having dinner and talking about how they can prevent Applied Behavioral Analysis from becoming a permanent law because I, there are too many cases where uh, lots of kids such as Izzy get this treatment and yes, they learn how to behave better, uh, they learn how to respond better, they learn to do certain things. On the other hand, it's backfiring and it is causing them to um, have traumatic experiences and it is uh, causing all kinds of aggression. So I'm wondering if uh, they weren't doing something barbaric in the beginning and it probably frightened Izzy because she was very, very young. And then I'm also wondering if her mother continued to use ABA with her after the therapy. And then she was also uh, reading up, uh, Mrs. Stapleton was reading up on ABA and trying it on her own terms with her own daughter. And 
I'm wondering if there was some sort of a traumatic experience going on at this autism center or facility and it caused Izzy to protest in her own way because she can't talk like you or me. She can't communicate and let somebody know when something's bothering her. So she has to hit. That's, that's how it is. It's like a cat. If you pull their tail, they're going to turn around and bite you because they don't like it. And it's the same way with an autistic who can't talk. If you try to get them to do something that they don't like because they're not comfortable and they, you know, you continue to pull, they're going to turn around and hit you. It's just the way it is. So, anyway, I just, I, I don't like applied behavioral analysis for that reason. And then I had also done more reading and uh, it sounds like Kelly Stapleton is an attention whore because she has a narcissistic personality disorder and she lives in a fantasy world because she thought that Izzy would be perfect and presto changeo by her 15th or 5th birthday and of course she discovered that Izzy became more and more violent as the years went by and she also lived in a fantasy world and she was also very unrealistic and it was all about her and she was always finding ways to get attention according to the article in the New Yorker and um, this was according to several family members. Now, they think that she wasn't even trying to take her own life. They think she was trying to make it look like that, but she was just in the van pretending to uh, act it out so that she could watch her daughter die. And this was because uh, Izzy was found in the front seat with a seatbelt on and her, ne her neck was as raw as a hamburger. And she was uh, unconscious and foaming at the mouth. And in fact, she had been out cold for about four days on a ventilator while her mother was in a coma for one day and automatically came out of it and was talking. And she was saying, why am I not in heaven? Why am I not with Jesus? And so what I wanted to say too about uh, Mrs. Stapleton is, yes, I'm sorry things didn't work out for you to go to heaven. And I'm sorry that you couldn't fix your daughter. Unfortunately, it sounds like you're a very selfish, self-centered woman that wants things uh, your way. I mean, if somebody's born autistic, you can't cure autism. You can't make them like you. I'm sorry, that's the way it is, and I think that's the problem with our society. They want us to be normal, just like them, so that they don't have to deal with the abnormalities, and that makes me really angry. And then uh, I had also seen a video on Izzy Stapleton's mother, Kelly, and she had the, the camera looking down at the floor, and this was supposedly after her Izzy had, had beaten up her mother and was pulling her hair. And you could see a little bit of Izzy in the background, but you could hear crying. And it was supposedly from Mrs. Stapleton. She was doing the crying, and then... Uh, Next thing you know, you saw the camera shaking a little bit and you heard screaming. Now, what I'm thinking probably had happened was she was trying to draw attention and she was trying to uh, make it look like Izzy was hurting her again when she was just acting it out because she wanted to get more attention. So, yeah, I think Mrs. Stapleton is an evil, evil woman and um, I think she, again, is an attention whore because she's drawing a lot of attention to herself. I mean, she's been on Dr. Phil. And she's sitting around talking about, well, I don't deserve to say Isabel's name anymore. It's all my fault. I shouldn't have killed her. Isabel will continue, continue her journey, but I do miss my daughter. I wish I wouldn't have done this, but I wanted my other kids' lives to be perfect. So, anyway, I want to know what you guys think about uh, Kelly Stapleton's story. Do you guys think she was actually stressed out? Or do you guys think she's some sort of a sociopath that was out for herself? Um, be sure to subscribe to my channel and also be sure to spread this video around and please help me go viral. So, until next time, my name is Maya Sundermeyer and I'm signing out now. Bye.